and welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at an Airbus A319-100 in the current livery of American Airlines. Because we are celebrating having reached 1000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, this is a 1 to 200 scale special review. As always, we start off with the box and here on the front side we have a very nice image of the aircraft and the American Airlines branding. The front side can also be open so you can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside and get some more information. On the back side of the box we then have the image once more and we do also have the American Airlines branding once more and we get some more information about the aircraft type itself. So that's it for the box, let's take a closer look inside and at the aircraft model itself. And before we get started, it is worth mentioning that this aircraft model comes with a stand. So here she is, the Airbus A319-100 in the current livery of American Airlines. Given that this is a 1 to 200 scale aircraft model and we normally review 1 to 500 scale models, we can expect some really nice details on this aircraft. So let's get cracking and start off with the tail section of the aircraft. And here in the vertex stabilizer, we can see the American Airlines branding. On the fuselage, we then have the full registration code of the aircraft. Just underneath that, we have an internal registration code, which in this case is 001. And then we have the flag of the United States of America. If we then move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, we can see along the fuselage the writing of American and the American branding. We do also have the One World logo and a lot of nice markings around the fuselage. If we then move to the cockpit, in my opinion, that is pretty much the only part of this aircraft that is a little bit of a letdown. This could definitely be more detailed. I would especially wish to have a little bit more details around the edges of the windows, but that's what we get. We do, however, have the window wipers. Moving on to the engine nacelles, we can see some nice details here as well with some nice markings. And of course, if you look into the engines, we have some really cool details with the engine fan blades here visible. And actually you can also see through if you get the right angle. Then perhaps a little bit hard to detect, but there is an emergency exit here in the fuselage just above the wing. And of course, if we take a look at the top side of the wing, we then also have the markings for the emergency exit and some more really nice details, including also the line here marking where you can step on the wing. And this is definitely one of the areas where we just profit from the bigger scale this aircraft model has. So the details just become more clear and are easier to make. The same thing goes also for the underside of the wing where we then have the internal registration code of the aircraft once more. And also really nice, of course, the winglets here on the A319. If I am correct to say so, there still hasn't been any 1 to 500 scale release of an A319 with winglets from Happer Wings. So it's definitely nice to see it on the 1 to 200 scale because normally these details then slowly drip down to the smaller scales. And a quick look at the horizontal stabilizer on the back of the aircraft also reveals some nice detailing where we can have the lines and the warnings as to where to step on the stabilizer and a feature that we still don't have on any 1 to 500 scale models we do have them on 1 to 400 but of course they are much more visible on a 1 to 200 scale these are the small antennas that we have all around the aircraft they're normally for short range communication so for example air to air normally very short range uh, radio frequencies that are used with these antennas the landing gear is also pretty decent here, the main landing gear, where we also can mention that the wheels actually do roll. So if you like to roll around with the one to do in a scale aircraft model, you can do that. And the front landing gear is also really nice. We have some cool markings here, actually the internal registration code of the aircraft and also the aircraft type specification. So that's really nice. And then last but not least, we do of course also have the doors to the cargo compartment here at the back side of the aircraft and here in the front side of the aircraft. As I mentioned earlier in this review, this is a special review. One, normally we don't review one to 200 scale aircraft models, but in this case, as we have reached 1000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, and we have actually also reached 300 followers on my Instagram account, I thought it would be fitting to take a closer look at this particular aircraft. But there's also another thing behind all this, because I will be giving away this aircraft model. I still haven't worked out all the details, um, but that's something I will be working on the next couple of weeks. So do stay tuned because I will announce exactly how this will work out. But at some point, one of you guys will have the opportunity to get this aircraft model. I'd like to say how thankful I am for all the support. I have always stressed out that numbers don't really matter to me and they don't. 
whether I would have 10 subscribers or a thousand subscribers, that doesn't change a lot for me in the sense of the joy I have making these videos. But of course, I'm grateful for all the support you're showing me. So it does matter, of course, that so many people have decided to support this channel, both on YouTube and on Instagram. So for that, you do absolutely have my gratitude. So before the video gets too long, let's announce what the next review will be on. That will be the 757-200 from Iceland Air in the Hekla Aurora special livery. So that's definitely something you can look forward to. If you have enjoyed, of course, feel free to leave a like. That would be very nice. Or if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? Then you will not miss out on the announcement for the giveaway. And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.